Well, I have to say, I myself have become a coin collector, and it's all because of Mike Fulgen, and he joins us with more to talk about. You know, he's from Universal Coin and Bullion to talk just about the coins and all the things that are going on in the industry today. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us. Well, it's good to be here, and it's wonderful to follow our, our fun symphony director. I really admire him. I know. He's pretty awesome, huh? He, he's awesome. Him, so we're going to outdo him because, you know, they, they, they were all excited and everything, but you know what? Coins are pretty cool. They're cool, I but go to the Lamar learning. basketball game tonight and then That's go true. to the symphony. You'll have a total evening. Uh-huh. And of course, they got, what, Thursdays on Calder as well, so lots of stuff going on this evening. A lot going on tonight. All right. Well, why has gold been trending higher this year? Well, gold has been trending higher because of buying around the world. The Chinese, mm -hmm. India, other countries have really been buying gold. The price was down. First time it was down in 13 years. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of buying. And also, with gold trending upward in the stock market, being kind of flat to slightly down, a lot of money moved out of stocks into gold. So mm -hmm. we've seen gold go up substantially while stocks have kind of held their own kind of broke even. Now, was that something that was predicted? Did experts say this is going to happen? or? No, they thought they were following the trend. They thought gold would go down to about 1,100. Wow. And they thought stocks would continue up. Gold was down 28% last year. Mm -hmm. Stocks up 28%. But it's reversing this year. So, you know, gold's following in the trend. It's 12 years in a row went up, went down for a year. It looks like it's heading back up. All right, and speaking of gold, gold has been in the news lately because a couple found $10 million gold coin hoard and covered in their, on their yard. It's on their property, property out right? in Northern California. They were walking along and found a can and then uncovered more cans Jeez. with $10 million worth of coins from the turn of the century and before. It's an amazing hoard. Uh, it's been authenticated. It's been graded. It's got numerous finest known, never seen coins in it. Now, it seems like there's been some drama that I read surrounding it that they were going to have to give the coins away or something like that, but now it sounds like they can keep them and auction them. Or Well, an amateur said it was the coins that were stolen from the San Francisco Mint back in 1900, but it couldn't be because the $30,000 face value stolen then versus 30,000 now would have been in bags all solid dates. Mm -hmm. This is a collection from the 1860s through the 1900s. It's obviously a group put together over the years. Okay. Now well, this couple, they're talking about actually auctioning it off. If you had that type of fine, what would you do with those coins? I would sell it slowly and not dump it all on the market. This yeah, is not the way. Time. But I would have certified it. They used one of the two leading grading services. Mm -hmm. And so I like how they handled it that. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. What are the two leading services? Well, the two leading grading and authentication services are the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, out of California, mm -hmm. and Numismatic Guarantee Corporation out of Florida. And they are the only two that I use or would recommend. And that's who, if you've got an expensive coin, that's where you want it authenticated and graded. Now, how can you tell if the, if the dealer is from either one of those groups? Well, he should have the logo up on his website or in his ads, new NGC authorized dealer or PCGS authorized dealer. But there are dealers, even locally, who put it on their ads who aren't PCGS or NGC authorized dealers. Wow. So don't assume because they put a logo in an ad or on their website they really are. Check it out with the organization. A lot of people put it up, and they really aren't authorized dealers. Okay. And one last question about the couple and the finding of the money. Do you have any kind of theories behind that? Do you any idea of who you think maybe it belongs to? Or? I have no idea. The theories go from people who are sympathetic to the Confederacy putting gold aside and, and burying it to train robbers or, or, yeah. or, or just a family rich person who had it and then died later. But this is a very lucky couple because they walked this area many times and didn't see this. Wow. Well, congratulations to them, and thank you so much for joining us. Great information to know, as always. I hope to handle some of the coins there in the areas I've written books about. Oh, wow. Okay. And so it's a great find for you as it well. It really is. Go to the symphony tonight. Yes, the symphony tonight and the basketball game as well. And go for the gold. you got a lot of things going on tonight.